What's good, Cram family? I hope you're having a good day today. If not, I hope this video bring a little light to your day. Make sure you follow me on all my social media. Also, after this video, check out my newest song. The link will be in the pinned comment. Appreciate you. Today, we finna check out Machine Gun Kelly. I think I'm okay. Official lyric meaning. Um, I've been wanting to see this because I've been wanting to know the meaning behind that song. It's like one of my most favorite songs from him, but let's go we ahead were and get to it. Obviously going back and forth trying to just figure out our own legacy riff, you know what I mean? Like everybody has that one riff when you start playing it, like the crowds go crazy. Like, oh my God, it's this song. And I've tried that for the past two albums, like definitely my third album, Bloom, I was trying for that. That's that's so crazy to me, because I'm pretty sure Machine Gun Kelly fans already had that one song when he played the crowd go crazy, but he's still on his journey to find that one song that I feel like every artist has that, like Queen has Bohemian Rhapsody. It's like no matter how long that song has been out, once they play it, the crowd just go insane. I'm pretty sure that's the type of song he's trying to find. I got close, but this one, as soon as he, like my, like we would go back and forth, we both had guitars. So my friend Nick was playing and I would play stuff. When he played, I was like, stop everything and <laughs> record that. Facts, man. And it's so crazy how songs happen like that, man. They, you can you can be inspired from a song from anything, bro. And hey, you can just come up with your biggest hit. Youngblood came in and he had 10 minutes to record his verse because I had a session with Travis Damn. that day. He walked in the booth, freestyled every part of his verse. It was just me and him. And I was just like, and when I say freestyle, I don't mean like figuring it out off the top of the head came with roll me up and smoke me low. And I was like, all right, well. Oh, young blood going in the booth and going in like that, freestyling off the dome, I see you. I gotta go, thanks man, I, I, I'll be back. I'm, watch, watch what I'm doing with this song. And I FaceTimed him 15 minutes later and Travis was playing drums in there because I walked in and played it for Travis. He was like, oh, dude, I gotta, I gotta like something on it. That's so dope, man. Watch me. Take a good thing and fuck it all up in one night. We're all essentially hanging out, the guitar riff's playing and there's all these girls uh, making drinks and things like that, and I, I, I freestyle this line where I'm like, watch me take a good thing and fuck it all up in one night, and I'll never forget all the girls looked at each other like, oh, fucking mood. That was the compliment <laughs> from Thanks. That is the first line. Every time I hear that first line play for someone that hasn't heard the song, they're always like, oh. So relatable. Me last night. Catch me. I'm the one on the run away from the headlights. No sleep. Up all week, wasting time with people I don't like. I think something's fucking wrong with me. When I was recording Hotel Diablo, I feel like the studio house that majority of that record was recorded in literally was Hotel Diablo. I mean, that That's place crazy. was like open doors for the entire city of Los Angeles. It was so dark. You'd be in a bit, uh, like a four day bender and realize like, ew, like, <laughs> Who are these people? Like, why am I, why Bro. am I wasting all these time with people I don't like? That's so crazy. Imagine if you was in that exact room with Machine Gun Kelly and hearing this song. Like, damn, <laughs> it's it's crazy how your environment can inspire things. Also, man. Drown myself in alcohol, that shit never helps at all. I might say some stupid shit tonight when you pick up this car. I am absolutely an infamous drunk phone caller. For sure, crossing the line. <laughs> at least admit calling it. Calling who I shouldn't be calling and saying things that are completely out of pocket. Sad to say that I think the people around me just expect it at this point and like there really is no point in apologizing or anything. People are just like, yep, you were on one last night. I've been hearing- At least he own it. Silence on the other side for way too long. I can taste it on my tongue. I can tell that something's wrong, but- You ever really like somebody and you do something and ruin it and then they just ghost you? Facts. That's the silence right there. <laughs> I guess definitely done now. I'm pretty sure we can all relate to that one. It's just my life and I can take it if I wanna. That line was originally, I can wreck it if I wanna. And I'll never forget, Young Blood looked at me and he was like, it's fucking corny, man. And we were just like, oh, well, that's easy. Like, it's just my life and I can take it if I wanna. And it, everyone was like, yes. I think a lot of people think it just immediately means it's suicide or, you know, I, I think Yo, it's really that's, hold up. just like, I can take back my life. Take your destiny into your own hands. 
that's crazy because when I reacted to it, I definitely, the first time I heard, did a reaction to it, I thought he was talking about suicide and the fact that he's talking about take back my life made me look at this whole song differently. My mind is blown, bro. You know, manifest what you want and make your life yours. But I cannot hide in the hills of California because these hills have eyes and I got paranoia. I hurt myself sometimes. Is that too scary, scary for, for you? you? When I say the hills have eyes um, and I got paranoia, it's really just a reflection of living in Hollywood. Like there's so many people interested in your life and your business and just everything travels around, you know, word, just gossip and it's really ugly, and I guess me saying I hurt myself sometimes is that too scary for you? Is confronting all that and be being like, is me being myself too much for you to handle? Yo. I think this song's gonna stand the test of time and become one of those classic, like My Chemical Romance or Blink, or like, like those are like the killers. Like in pop punk, those records are gonna last forever. I feel like this one has its own flag on the pop punk moon now we were I, I definitely feel like that song is definitely gonna stand the test of the time i really want to say if y'all seen my reaction y'all already know I, I really enjoy this joint this one is this is the song that grabbed me and was like okay this album is gonna be pure flames and after hearing the album pure flames bro definitely went in and put a lot of emotions into that project I was, that's like definitely one of my most favorite uh, machine gun kelly projects that i've heard so far um y'all let me know in the comments real quick Hey man, do y'all if is this the song that y'all think is gonna be that song that that's gonna um, ring off every time uh, Machine Gun Kelly performs? Like, is it, this gonna be the song that stands the test of time? Or uh, what's your most favorite song from Machine Gun Kelly? Let me know in the comments, man. Also, it should be a video on my face right now, and that's my newest song. All you do is gotta click the video, and it'll take you right to it. Go check it out. Let me know what you think. Show us some love if you like it. Please subscribe to um, my music channel. Um, I'm going to give you some time to click the video. And we out. Salute, Crown family.